Hey guys, how's it going? My name is MTG. Today I'm coming at you with a completely different video than what I normally post here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about an upcoming game known as Identity or Identity. I, I, I think I said that completely wrong. We're going to be talking about Identity. This is a brand new um, game that's in development at the moment. Um, today we're going to be going through an in-depth chat um about what identity is um what you meant to do in it everything related to identity this is the video for you so right off the bat let's go on in depth of what identity is so identity is a realistic life simulation game where well well you can pretty much do whatever you want literally um I think if I had to keep it simple and explain exactly specifically what it is or comes close to, it is um, a much, 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 much better version of something along the lines of PlayStation Home, Atom Universe, um, more realistic versions of Sims. Um, it's just a, a realistic life simulation game. Um, you can literally do everything anything in this game it is unreal what you can actually do in this game you'll also have to pardon me throughout this video i am very ill and i do um sound a little croaky um today um so i do sound a little bit off what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a quick read through this here um so you guys will get a bit of a you know an idea of um you know you know the ins and outs of it the the foundation what we can build off so like, like I said, it is a life simulation game. I'm going to read through here. So, the Town Square is the first identity module set for release, available to all pledges with access to the game beta testing phase. So, um, when you look at buying this game, you are given many, many, many different options. I've already bought mine. I've bought the Founder. Um, but you can buy the citizen for about 15 pounds the founder for 30 pounds and that's normally 50 60 90 100 but because i've already bought that money's came off all them uh, so you, it's not charging you anymore but it gives you all the different options so if you buy the founder um get the game as soon as possible with retail game pre-order and an invitation to the very first public beta testing so this means as soon as it's out for testing you'll be one of the first people to be able to play this game to test it out to get any bugs away from it so it's not too long till this game should hopefully be fully um released uh well the beta phase i should say i've only just recently bought this founder today actually because i was watching some videos on it um so if you do want to take a little look definitely go to the website just uh identity um and you'll be able to find their website there so continuing on with this anyway as a social module the town square will allow you to create and customize your characters meet new friends and enjoy a handful of interesting and fun things to do this is your first preview of what's to come with identity the town square is closed off section to the ash hill city center give you a sneak peek at some of the items you've received from pledging to identity with a few dozen people per town square server you can hang out play games with other identity fans while waiting on future modules and the full identity world so there's still going to be a lot to do when it comes to genuinely, um, you know, the full game. But they've been working on this for years. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you some identity gameplay. I've got all the footage up here, as you can see. So we're going to go and jump in. We're going to give you a sip of what identity is if you don't know what it is. So let's go jump on into the first video here. This is the oldest, but it's a good one to watch. So as we start to load on into the game, um, you will notice that the graphics are pretty goddamn good. So, and this isn't even it nearly even fully completed. This was uploaded one year ago, one year ago. So right now, this is barely even completed what you're seeing right now. So this is an apartment. Um, you can get, as far as I'm aware, as many as apartments as you want, the, the genuinely generated. Um, you, I think for these, that you have to physically pay rent for them. You, you, you don't just get them, you have to pay keep. Um, 
the fully customizable you got a tv and on the tv you can actually watch twitch streams as that is an actual twitch stream that's very that was actually live obviously that was so long ago now but that is an actual um twitch stream i think it's pubg that they're playing by the looks of it i'm not not too sure but anyway the full um the full complete apartment is customizable you can actually listen to the radio yeah so the actual radio you can listen into it um you can completely customize everything in there from the desktops the countertops the drawers everything there's not much in this game that you can't physically edit so if you're looking for you know you know to make it feel like home this is there's so much you can do. There is so much to cover in this video. It is unbelievable. So as you can see here, he's changing his colors of his walls. You can do the whole walls. You can do a singular wall. You can change the skirting boards. Of course, you can buy things and they'll, uh, you know, you actually buy them and they can get delivered through, you know, through an actual person who actually delivers stuff. Like, you actually get jobs on this. It's not like a a standard game where you just get random things shipped to you after a few minutes you actually get real people shipping these things to you like amazon or like ebay or something like that again you can change the um flooring as you just saw there um that like i said the customization on this is um it's phenomenal it's like i've never seen such in-depth customization like this you can change the ceilings you, you can do all sorts like one of the cool things i want to show you as you can see here, he is placing down some furniture. Um, there is a lot of customization when it comes to the furniture as well. You can get the very similar sofas all in it, all in different colors, fabrics, everything. There is a lot, on, uh, and I mean a lot of furniture in this game. There is so much that you can do. You will find yourself spending hours upon hours hours playing this game i mean just imagine just customizing your apartment just the way that you like it um and this next part look at how in detail this is see how you can't place it down look look watch this as soon as it gets close enough to a plug boom because it actually has to be plugged in you can't just throw it down anywhere what game does that what game does that? That is how in detail and realistic this game is this ain't no playstation home crap this this is a real stuff. This is a. This is the, the shit. I'm sorry. Pardon my language. This is it. So if we skip to this part here, you're gonna notice that on this little, um, canvas, I think it's called. You can actually start painting on it now. It, uh, it's like it, it's breathtaking what you can actually do. So the way that this works is you can actually paint something. Um, and the way that it works is when you finish painting something, you can either a you can keep it to yourself put it on your wall for a piece of art or if it's even better if it's good enough you can even have it on the market getting sold and you can earn money from that you can be a professional artist on this game and earn money for it i think it, it would be completely up to you how much you want to sell them you can make duplicate copies of course the original will be worth more um but of course the originals and that you can sell them you can sell copies and it's completely up to you how much you want to sell them for skipping a little further on into this video um a little bit more about the law um the thing is with this game you can go down two paths you can either a you can be a standard citizen and get a standard job and work or b you can be a villain a bad guy you can uh, work on you know being a drug dealer and earning you know quick money and a lot of money and breaking the law um and if you get caught you can actually go to prison um how long you go to prison for i'm not too sure um of course it is an option in the game that you can do obviously it's not i doubt it's going to be too um unforgiving um but it's going to be one of them you can go to prison for it and with you going to prison that is correct you can be a police officer um you can actually drive around and all sorts and arrest people ask for driver's license all sorts um in the next video we'll be going a bit into detail with the actual driving um mechanics this is just a few screenshots and artwork that we've got here um this is an inside of a clothing store you can own your own clothing store and you can actually make your own clothing and sell them um like i said guys there's not much that you 
can't do in this game there's honestly it's limitless it's absolutely crazy you can get your own cars you can customize them of course it all costs money of course and here we are again in the prison um so like i said if you break the law you will go to prison along with other people as you can see as you can see the graphics ain't too bad um for the actual character customization but it will all improve in the time remember like i keep mentioning this was a year ago um, those are going to be a lot better in detail, um, you know, pictures that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some screenshots of better images of the customization of the characters. This is a jewellery shop. You can rob these as far as I'm aware. You can work in them. Um, you can buy from there if you want to, to, you know, get yourself some bling. Now, going into detail here with some of the houses. If we take a look here, we actually have a example of a house here. Now, with houses, of course, like I mentioned, you can get yourself um, apartments. You can get unlimited apartments, but as far as I'm aware, you can only own up to about, I think it's two houses that you can actually buy. Now, with houses... Um, it's up to yourself what you do with them. Now, you can either rent them out and get actual in-game players to rent them, or you can just live in, you know, live it in, live in it yourself or even sell it. If we go on inside of the house, as you can see here, it's a little bit um, scruffy, but you can completely customise it. As you can see there, the flooring changed. Um, nice little sofa there. The kitchen, again, you can turn the light switches on and off. Um, it is such a chilled game, you know, if you ever just want to play a game where it's pouring rain outside in real life, it sounds super sad, but you could just come on this game and enjoy some time playing with your friends, you know, on this game and without even needing to leave the house. You can actually go on the actual computer as well, um, and there's actual social media built on into the game, like an actual Facebook. Um, there's a few things you can actually do on the actual computer. As you can see, it's called the MacBook Pro, uh, just for that copyright. And then uh, you got the, I think that says Reality TV, um, and that's obviously Twitch there, so you can watch some Twitch streams. A screenshot here. Here you can see an actual boat, um, I think you can actually buy boats, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if this is a life or a crim, uh, a crim cr I can never say the word, a criminal, um, I'm not too sure. As you can see, it looks almost like a police officer of some type, but very, very dark. But you can actually get on inside there, uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous, such a nice place to chill. You could do bank robberies as well, so if you are a villain, you can rob banks, but remember, you can get arrested. But it's a quick way to success, to a lot of money, to be able to get further in the game quicker. A screenshot here of uh, people making meth. There's an actual video of this that I'll be showing you soon enough. Uh, but you can actually make meth, like I actually said. Police can arrest you. You do it in the van, Breaking Bad style. And if you get caught, the police will come out and fuck you up the poo shoot. There's a little bit more um, in-depth detail that I'm going to be going for about this computer. Now, that computer, uh, of course, we've came this far so far in the video. It obviously, it's got purpose. You can actually do something in there. And in the next video uh, that I'll be showing you, maybe not right away after this one, but I'm going to be showing you what you can actually do with this. Um, but yeah, you can actually do stuff in there a little bit more in-depth. This is a town square module, as you can see here. Obviously, this isn't released, but this is what the actual town square will actually look like. Obviously, this is before it's been released, but as you can see, look at the detail in it. This wasn't too long ago. It's a fair few months ago, um, but this is in detail. I mean, you can just see like the sun, the sky, the buildings. It's in detail, and it's one of them games like... It's going to be mind blowing. Inside here is the inside of a shop um, where you can actually go in and you know, of, of course, buy you know, buy clothing. Uh, but this one looks like it it hasn't actually been officially opened. As you can see, there's no clothes or anything on there. Um, so of course, you can actually buy your out you know your own shops and actually put clothes on in there. This one is inside of a. Um, I think this is a hotel. Um, or an apartment ground floor of course you can sit on these sofas are completely interactical you got elevators here that I assume are completely interactical um, <clears throat> whether you can actually work in here I'm not too sure so 
in this game, um, there will be a few um, in detail things that you can do. There's actually going to be a government or even a mayor. So the mayor works very similar to a president. The president, uh, of course, well, the mayor, I should say, is in charge of all the taxes and X, Y, and Z, kind of running that server. So in this game, you can get taxed. A matter of fact, you will get taxed. How much you get taxed will always come down to the mayor um i think you're a mayor for about two or three days um and then obviously you can vote who you want to be your new mayor you can run for mayor if you want to and if you get you know get keep you know good opinions through um the server players then they'll keep voting for you and you get to keep being the mayor but if you make taxes ha you know sky high and you're keeping all the money for yourself and you know not you know uh doing it the right way that you should be doing it then <clears throat> nobody's going to vote for you then and you won't ever be mayor again um but there will be an actual mayor that will control taxes and everything in there um, there'll be cars so you can actually drive on these roads and you can get bikes there's all sorts of transportation going back to this what we'll what we'll do we'll have a quick read through here so features include character customization after creating your character you'll find tattooed parlors barbers sh barber shops and more to help uh, achieve a unique look all the social bits you'll have no trouble making friends with identity's world-class voice communication system when you do meet new people, add them to your friends list using your in-game smartphone. We'll get into detail with the smartphone soon. Your contact, your your yeah yeah you your contact will even carry out into the full identity game. So. <clears throat> phones you can get phones in the games there is about three phones that you can get three different models of phones so you'll be able to get yourself a type of iphone a type of android samsung phone and last but not least a type of blackberry phone as far as i am aware so whether these phones will have dramatic um impact in the game with what you can and can't do with them i'm not too sure but i would have thought so and it mentions here with a voice communication system. I'm going to go into detail with this. So the voice communication system. So when you speak down your microphone to people, your mouth will actually move into position of when you're speaking with the words that you are saying. So it'll actually look like you're speaking. With that means, the further away you are from somebody that's talking, the quieter it will be. And the closer that you are to them, the louder it will be so it's very very realistic whether there'll be a way to have private conversations in the game i'm not too sure access to player owning housing if you've pledged to identities development and received an apartment for or penthouse sorry you will be able to explore all of its features from decorating to furnishing see what you can do with custom housing make your home your own or invite friends to join you um, so basically what that means is exactly what we've already said you can go into high detail with editing your apartment or your house or your penthouse so penthouses are just like normal houses but they're more fancier um, and they're going to be more expensive cinema playing real movies the ash hill cinema has only one screen that contrasts to make enormous cinema in roseport Although you find real movies playing around the clock, it's a great place to enjoy the classics with new and old friends. So, here, as you, as, as you can see there, there's actually a film playing in the back. That's a real long-ass long, long -ass film that you can watch. I assume, I don't know what that film is, but you can actually go to a cinema and you can watch actual movies. Real movies, not fake movies like... Um, Red Dead Redemption, like when you can go in the cinema and watch a, a short cartoon, but bless them, they put a lot of effort into that. But on here, you can actually go into a cinema, play, uh, pay for your ticket, and actually watch like a full hour to hour and a half to two hour movie if you really want to. Whether that'll be something popular or not, I'm not too sure, but as you can see, this guy works here from the looks of it, um, so I assume you can actually get a job at the cinema and work there. Food, drinks and drugs, popcorn for a movie, coffee and a beer, or maybe something not on the, I'm just going to say the usual menu. Um, it's all here in the town square for those looking to uh, quench their thirst and have some fun. So basically you can drink, you can eat, uh, whether that's um, 
watching the movie or just out and about. Like you can, there's a hot dog stand that you can, you know, go up to and just eat a hot, a hot dog and you know stuff like that. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, it says development tasks remaining. Take a look inside the Asylum Entertainment Studio. Here you see the summary of the tasks our developments are working on for the release of the Town Square module. Release is very close and you can follow development as it happens. So here is all the details of how close we are to getting the full module out. As you can see, completed, completed, almost completed, completed. A fair bit of it done, completed, a bit of it done, still testing done, a fair bit, well, half of that done, uh, a fair bit of it, almost completed. So yeah, we are, we're really close, we're really, really close to it now. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the most recent gameplay um, trailer. This is actual proper police gameplay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll be talking through it as we go through it, and we're going into proper detail, so let's get on into it. So straight away, as we come on in, you're going to notice straight away we're going to be driving a vehicle. Here, as you can see, um, notice the indicators here. Watch. Watch it. Birds flying away, so you got wildlife. You notice how his turn signals have came on. And watch him slowly slip a little bit there. He slips a little bit. So the, depending on what you're driving on with what vehicle comes onto the traction. So as you can see, he stopped his, pulled his handbrake on. So this is what I was going on about the computer. So you can go into detail. You can put in what street you're on, the building number. And you can log it down so you're always up to date with where you've gone, what you're doing. Um, with all sorts of different call types. So this is a police officer, this is a sheriff, this is what he's done. Now the movement, to my, in my opinion, is a bit... Ew. Um, but apparently from what I re read, uh, that's been updated now. Uh, the movement's a little bit more smoother. It looks a little bit more realistic now. This is, on the other side, checking out the meth addicts, meth in a way here. Um, so this is inside one of the caravans, Breaking Bad style. You can actually... This is actually making meth, so you actually have to be careful with how you're making it, because you can actually ruin it. Um, so here's, he's watching people, he's calling for backup, um, you can't hear it, but he's just called for backup. He comes out, he shoots him, and there you go, he's been shot. So he's gone down, his mate's coming over, he's getting in the van, he's trying to get off, the, police is, the policeman actually tells him to step out of the vehicle, um, and at the end of it here, you can see him getting arrested so there's a lot of detail in there as you can see um, there's not too much on it it's only like a minute and 55 seconds but there's enough in there to really give you a nice good taste of what it actually is now if you do want to learn a little bit more about um, identity I would highly recommend in recommend to go to Danisty's um, YouTube channel, giving him a little bit of a shout out here. Um, he does a lot of videos over on the identity side of things. As you can see here, there are a lot of videos that he's done here. So if you do want to know, you know, know a little bit more about the gameplay, definitely go and check out his channel. He has done so much, so much. Um, this is actually the full map size that I'm actually going to show you here. Um, so if we take a quick look on into this. So this is the full map size as far as I'm aware. There's a city here, city there. This will all get updated though. Um, looks like there's a beach down here of some type. A uh, little kind of waterfall -y area here. But it's a pretty big map to be fair. You know, pretty big map. Um, but yeah, of course, there's a lot of traveling that you can do in this very, very big game. And that is genuinely um, as much as I want to go into detail for this video. This last little part is just a kind of an overall summary of the game. So just to sit down and have a very quick go over of the game. So like I said, to start off with the game, um, the Town Square module is looking at coming out sometime fairly soon. Um, in the next few weeks, hopefully, it's been pushed back quite a few times, to be fair. It's a very small team working on this game for the past few years. Um, and finally, we're looking at the first Town Square module coming out, and I couldn't be more excited. Um, remember, the prices will go up, so it's definitely, definitely worth to take a look at buying them now. 
um, before of course the prices go up as you can see it's highly affordable at the moment but the prices will definitely go up a lot more as you can see here with the upcoming launch of the new identity shop many of the items listed on this crowdfunding page will no longer be available such as all insured vehicles and currency furthermore the prices of most items listed here will bump up to the standard prices which will be considerably more expensive now is your time to save money and get starts which won't be available for much longer so if this is a game that interests in you get buying it now um of course worst things come to the worst you can always ask for a refund um but if you're lucky to get it a little cheaper buy it now it's a game that I am really excited to play and it's a game that will probably take over my YouTube channel. As you can see, um, I don't post a ton of videos that much anymore on my YouTube channel as there's not many games that I enjoy to play um, apart from when I'm streaming. So it's definitely going to be a game that I'm going to, you know, you guys are going to see a lot more on the YouTube channel. Um, it's probably going to completely take over it, to be honest. Um, everything related from streaming to recording identity will all be on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, guys, if you're looking forward to that and you do want to see some of that, make sure that you're high hitting that subscribe button, that notification button as well. And also lay me a like as well. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. There's a lot of um in detail things to do i'm gonna let you guys get on with it to maybe do your own little research in there um but pretty much you can do pretty much anything in this video so i hope you all found it you know quite helpful and if you enjoyed this video and you do want to see more videos like this um keeping up to date with the identity game because i can't wait uh to play it definitely leave a comment down below um let me know if you do want to see more and i'll definitely keep up to date with identity and uh you know we'll, we'll see where it goes from there but anyway guys thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one cheers guys